All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform, where they give a back to back update on how things they be or how things they share for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also, remember to like and share this broadcast as it holds. All right, my wonderful people, uh, the latest one with the boss brains uh, that we are getting at the moment. Yes, uh, uh, you don't boss. The UGM or government has uh, sent uh, four Nigerian policemen uh, during fresh attack on Enugu checkpoint. Yes, my people, uh, these men have been sent to judgment by the government uh, in a fresh attack in Enugu checkpoint. Yes, my people will be going into the details of this news immediately. Yes, uh, I see the whole, it says here that uh, a community source who spoke to newsman uh, said the policemen were conducting a stop and search at a checkpoint when the government opened fire on them. At least four police personnel of the Nigerian police force have been killed by gunmen who attacked popular for Connor Johnson Ozala, yes, uh, in Enugu State. A community source who spoke to newsmen said the policemen were conducting a stop and search at this checkpoint when the gunmen opened fire on them. Uh, there was a video uh, seen on the Sahara Reporters and uh, this showed the lifeless bodies of a police officer in the uniform on the expressway while a police patrol vehicle burns nearby a user who posted the video wrote policemen just lost their lives at the four corner junction in Ugu state the express trade that leads to imo apia state from enugu no government attacks the police check marines at the four corners uh, enugu today being uh, today and killed the uh, policemen uh, as uh, in Biafra land, if you know, you know. Another one added, uh, as of the time of this report, the police public relations officer for Enugu State, DSP Daniel Nduke, has not answered calls or responded to messages. This is how it always is, my people. Similarly, Mr. Dan Wome, the special assistant to Governor Peter Mba on media, had not provided a comment or confirmation. Of the incident, a former information minister and 2023 All, All Progressive Grand uh, Alliance governorship candidate Dr. Frank Mweke Jr. condemned the attack, describing it as an act of wickedness. Of course, in the state on X, that's like Twitter, uh, it said that uh, earlier today the Ozala community in Kan in, in Kan West local government area Enugu is being the terror of the so-called unknown men who attacked policemen on checkpoint duty at the Four Corner Junction among uh, along the Enugu Potakot Expressway. Their patrol vehicle was also destroyed by fire. I extend my condolences to the families of the deceased and the men and officers of the Enugu Police Command. It is unacceptable for anyone to die in such a brutal manner while simply performing their duty to protect citizens and uh, maintain public order. Yes, my people, this is what is happening to the zoo uh, police at the moment. And we know that uh, as whenever it comes to things like this, it is on another level. And people, uh, these UGM people have uh, been doing a whole lot. As we know that uh, Woto Woto is what has been taking place. And uh, of course, the zoo police are not even uh, able enough and not even gunned up or armed, armed and to the seat enough as these people and they uh, of course they are no match they are of no match to them whenever it comes to the face-to-face -face gun battle and it is just lets us understand that uh, the zoo security is as porous as it can ever be and it is not even safe for anybody to stay and depend on the safety that comes uh, with the with the government or with the the, the so-called uh, zoo policemen it is not even advisable at any point and so it is one of the things that you would think of and you would not want to think about a lot of times because of the things that have been taking place uh, in nowadays rather in the in biafra land and so it is one of the things that you would look at 
and you actually want to prefer that uh, Biafra comes and the Biafra independence takes place as soon as possible because uh, the sooner the better, the sooner we we'll all would all be protected and things would go better for us. And so my people, that is what we have on this particular date and uh, my people, we have a video, we have a recording for you to listen to as uh, the PM and every other single person involved in the Biafra movement continues to hit hard on the zoo government yes my people listen to this where uh, uh, all himself just came out and made some kind of comments my people yes he just came out and made some kind of comments concerning the civil war uh, my people it doesn't really concern us this particular ex-president uh, we know during his time um of course when he ruled in the military time and came back again and ruled again the second time he had enough time to do whatever he, he I don't know whatever he's saying. But then of course um the most important thing for us to have in our minds on is that uh, we ourselves as a uh, as Biafrans must do the need for okay, my baby he he's talking about the Biafra war. Uh, let us see what he has said. Um he says here, yeah, Olusegun Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, recently spoke at the conference on youth leadership titled Opportunities for Peace, Roles of the Youth in Conflict uh, Prevention in Africa. He called on youth to be advocates of uh, conver conversation over violence, highlighting the critical role that youth play in promoting peace. Uh, my people, I, I made a distinct recently and say we cannot go down if not if we are not if you've not done the needful we can peace is not even an option right now if you have decided not to give us what we want if you've decided not to give us a mazenam the colonel has decided not to give us a biafra freedom a biafra referendum peace is not an option and so whatever you say now in uh, in a conference might be true and will be moved by gullible people that do not know what the true movement for the Biafra army or the true movement for the Biafra is. Uh, they are the ones that might look into it. But the true people know the reason why we've been fighting this hard and we've been fighting for this long. Uh, and that is those that the people that will not give up or that will not be moved by these gullible uh, 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 speeches that he's making at this particular point. He said that uh, according to him, according to Abbas and Joseph article, he said that the country has shown resiliency, resiliency during the civil war by returning to the round table for settlement in spite of severe conflict. He exhorted the youths of today to adopt his, this mindset and convince those who live violently to think twice. Additionally, he emphasizes the significance of uh, fostering a culture of peace and empathy in the next generation. In Abbasanjo's words, during the civil war, we killed ourselves mercilessly and destroyed our best of facilities, but we still came back to the round table to get the challenge resolved. Mm -hmm. You must develop the culture of peace, the culture of humanness. The culture of of living the way God wants us to live. Okay, so now this is what uh, He is advising them to do. But then to do what is needed, we have we Bia friends have always been people of peace. We have always wanted peace in our lives. Every single thing about us has always been about peace. We are not people of war. We do not we do not want war. We have never ever wanted war. But then this is the situation you people put us into that make us want to lean to war. Yeah, of course, that is the situation. We are not people of war. He's, I don't know if he's trying to say that the war and everything that is happening now is how... No. The youths of nowadays, the Biafrans of nowadays, are leaning into war because that is what they have pushed us into. Because that is the situation they have pushed us into. We did not just wake up one day and decide to wake up and push ourselves into war. The reason why the Nigerian army and the Biafra Liberation Army, the BLA, are clashing 24-7 is because of the fact that they have refused to do the need to. They have refused to release our leader, uh, Ohamadike Mazenam Dekano. Yes, that is why we are leaning into war. They have refused also to give us what we've been asking for for the longest of times after the civil war. I believe you me, if they have given us what they want instead of leaning into the civil war, my people, I do not think we would have been here by now. I believe everywhere would have been, we would have been on their own. They would have been on their own. And we would be where we are because, of course, there is no need for any war. And we would be happy with our state. And by now, I believe you me, the kind of progress we would have made 
would not be one to even be trifled with. But of course, now so it be, now so it be hot. Uh, once you come for these conferences, they will just make it look like everything that is happening now is our fault because violence is not the answer. Aneku, aneku, aneku. This is none of this is going to make the real Biafra turn away from what is needful. Uh -huh. And the people that cannot be turned, can, cannot be swayed by these gullible talks, they know the real fight and they are not going to give us. And so on that particular note, nothing of such can make us uh, 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 give up on our fight or stop doing whatever it is we, we've been doing ever since. And so because of that, we'll keep on fighting and doing the needful, no matter what. So yes, my people, this is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Uh, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.